We got two or three things here for the mayor's report. And first of all, I guess I'm going to say uh, we have set or need to set the date for the swearing in of the newly elected officials. Uh, Mr. Horton, do you have any uh, plan or recommendation for that? Well, several of us have talked, and uh, not all of us, but uh, four years ago we did it at the depot, uh, had our own swearing in ceremony. <coughs> We used the depot because this building was still under construction. And uh, I think there's pretty good support for us having our own swearing in ceremony here on January 1st. If we're gonna do that, we need to respect the fact that the big ceremony is at the courthouse at 10 o'clock and work around that. And then I think we should follow it with a special called meeting and go ahead and do our organize the city meeting and we're required to do it. Are you recommending an earlier time frame or a later time frame uh, for New Year's Day? I'm comfortable actually with doing it at 1.30 or 2 if everybody else is. You don't have to be early. I'll just go early. You want to go early? Mr. Mayor? Yeah. I don't really have a recommendation. <laughs> Mr. Irwin, I understand. <laughs> I'd, I'd like, like to be. Able I, to go I to personally would like to be at home watching some football games. Too, I later think. Later. Let's go early. Okay. Let's go nine, early. Nine o'clock. What's yeah, everybody? Eight o'clock. Eight thirty. Eight eight thirty. I mean, I'll just stay up. It's no all difference night. to me. I just soon do it at eight o'clock. Me yeah, first. Oh my gosh. Well, I get up at five thirty anytime after. I get up. All right. Mr. Horton, make the call. Six eight. Eight o'clock. That's fine. Eight o'clock. Would. Go ahead and issue a special called meeting notice and we'll organize the city. Who knows, somebody might bring in some leftover biscuits and gravy uh -huh. and we'll just start this thing off. Oh, right. I'll have mine already, I'll already have All right, mine. That that's okay good. With anybody else, I mean, is that okay with everybody? Yeah. All right. Uh, well, uh, having said that, it's my privilege to uh, call attention to a couple of folks here that I want to recognize and uh, I'm gonna again I'm gonna begin this by uh, identifying and asking him to stand at this time Mr. Martin Irwin would you please stand at this time uh, I, I have something here that I'm gonna hand you that says in grateful appreciation for your dedicated service as alderman of the city of Russellville, Arkansas, from January 1, 2011, through December 31, 2014. So I know you said that you really weren't too concerned about the swearing in of the next group, but you still have several days of service left here. So I know that you're not one to shirk your duty, but I just want to say thank you for being a part of this council. service very much and thank you for dedicating your time and effort to the city of Russellville. Thank you very much. Wish you the very best. Thank you. Would you like to say something more at this time? Um, you, you know me pretty well then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. I, I'd like to thank every, every member of this council, uh, people of Russellville and the people of Ward 4 for allowing me the privilege and honor to have served. Uh, it's, it's been my pleasure. Thank you very much. Oh, that's the shortest speech he ever gives. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, Martin. And uh, I would also like to recognize Mr. Randy Horton. Uh, he also uh, will receive this item in grateful appreciation for your dedicated service as alderman for the city of Russellville from January 1, 2011 through December 31. 2014 and then on January 1 2015 Mr. Horton will assume 
the responsibilities of mayor of the city of Russellville. Mr. Horton, would you please come forward? With your permission, Mayor and Council, I've got one that I would like to, I've been asked to present. I know we're running a little bit late, but if, if y'all will uh, allow me a little storytelling time. A few weeks ago, I was talking to a lady and she was telling me that she had called down to City Hall and she had a problem. Somebody, she managed to get a family member to come from out of town and cut her massive holly bushes down and they got them down out into the yard, but now she didn't have anybody to help. Was there anything the city could do? And then she went on to say that it, by noon that day, same day, somebody had pulled up in her yard, loaded those bushes, and was getting ready to pull out. And I thought, now, wait a minute. I didn't think the city could do that. The rest of the story is the person that pulled up for the city and loaded those up was Bill Eaton. He couldn't use city equipment or city employees, so he just did it himself. I heard four or five stories like that in the last few months, and I know that Mayor Eaton is doing that stuff on top of a very busy civic club schedule. He's very active in the, the uh, Military Officers Association, and he's done a fairly good job of being mayor of a very difficult city sometimes to keep up with everything. So I'm honored that his, uh, his staff and asked me to present him. It says, the city of Russellville honors Bill Eaton for his dedicated and distinguished service as mayor January 1, 2011 to December 31, 2014. And I think that pretty well says it. Thank you very much. And I know this is uh, a long night, and I apologize for that. I had a friend several years ago, a number of years ago, that every time we had a get-together used to begin with an apology <laughs> because he said he knew he was going to offend somebody before the night was over. <laughs> And he just wanted to get all the apologies out of the way up front. So, I do apologize, but I've got to tell you a couple of things that are on my mind, and I will try to be brief. Four years ago, uh, four years ago at this time, I was thinking about how long it would take for four years to pass uh, in the job of mayor. However, I can tell you it goes by very quickly, particularly when you work with good people who strive to do things right. Um, and I have been blessed, extremely blessed and pleased to have a cadre of department heads that have done exceptionally well, uh, have been very pleasing to me and encourage me in a lot of respects. And for those of their employees who also uh, are here for citizens of the city of Russellville and who care about who they serve and with whom they work. And that's, that's pretty obvious, I think. But a week ago from, uh, a week ago, I began to think about what I might have to say tonight, and I thought, we're just a week from Christmas Day. And uh, 
you know, that's a day that carries a message in its name or in the word. So I, I really think my message here is that there should be some time for you uh, as an individual, a quiet time, a time apart from all the holiday activities and festivities and all, in a period of solitude to reflect on and enjoy the meaning of the day when we can pray for the world. and not for our narrow concerns. So, having said that, thanks for allowing me the opportunity to serve as your mayor. It has truly been an honor and a pleasure. But more importantly than that, as it has been for me, I want to say something that, <clears throat> uh, that happened 48 years ago to me. <laughs> Anyway, you'll have to forgive me. I married a most wonderful woman 48 years ago today. Well. <laughs> Sharon Hall who when I met her was driving a 65 Mustang four in the floor bright red and man, I wasn't sure whether I was deciding to marry her or her car. I but I married her and her dad kept the car so <laughs> that's how that turned out. But anyway, she's the mother of our three daughters of which I'm very proud in their families. And I want to thank you, dear, for your patience, your perseverance, and your continued love. And that is how I'm going to close this out. Thank you. I think it's time to begin our business, isn't it? Anytime. Okay.